Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. I've been thinking about the upcoming holiday, you know, Thanksgiving and stuff, and uh, start thinking, well, what's what's my favorite part of the, the those meals? It's got to be the turkey. I like green bean casserole and the stuffing. So we come up with a casserole that kind of involves all of them, and uh, we're going to put it together, and I'm going to show you how to cook it. So. Sounds interesting to you or sounds good to you, please hang around, check it out, and uh, I'm going to get to cooking. Alright y'all, get this party started here. We're going to make up our, our stuffing mix. Uh, for the it's, it's the topping. So we're going to start out. We're just doing the instructions that are on the uh, the package. So this is a cup and a half of uh, I use chicken broth and my stuffing is you know I think it tastes better. And then we got a half a stick of butter melted. And we're just gonna mix this up. Keep mixing it until all the liquid's absorbed. Now you can do it on the stove top and this works real this recipe works really well with leftovers um, so uh, you know after the holidays you know if you got some leftover turkey and green bean casserole and stuffing and uh, I've even used mashed potatoes in it but uh, we're not doing that today so all right that's pretty well mixed up. We're going to set that aside. Set it over here. Let it absorb the rest of that liquid. Get us another mixing bowl here. And uh, this is the, the base of it. So I got chicken. Uh, it's not turkey, but, you know, it works. You know, I like it. So there's one. I got two cans of it. And then we're going to, to that, we're going to add a can of green beans. And then we're going to add one can. And this is condensed chicken soup. Uh, my spoochula won't reach down in there. All right. Let me grab something to get this can cleaned out, and we'll bring you all right back. All right, y'all. Actually, grab me a spatula that'll fit down in the can here. Get all that goodness out of there. All right. Now, I just need to mix this up. Now you may need to add a second can of the condensed soup, uh, depending on how creamy you like it. Let me grab my spatula here. Kind of break them pieces up, you know, get little smaller pieces. Just make sure everything's coated. Okay, got that. Now, I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper. And just a, just a sprinkle of salt here. Alright, y'all. Kind of mix that salt and pepper in there. And I think that's one can of soup's gonna be perfectly fine. All right, now set that aside, and I'm gonna grab a nine by thirteen baking pan, and uh, we'll get this concoction thrown together. All right, y'all. I am using disposable just because it cleanup's easier. So 
we're going to take our mixture here, spoon her in. down in there get all the goodness out of the bottom all the little nippy drippies and everything so all right smooth jet out now I know some of you might be saying oh, you know that the green beans and stuff, that's not going to be a good combination. Trust me, it is. And if you don't like green bean casserole, then uh, I guess you won't like this recipe, but I don't know who don't like green bean casserole. So, alright, there we go. Got that uh, all schmooged in there. Now, kind of fluff up our stuffing mix here. Get that dumped in there. Like I said, this is our topping. Now, get that spread out all over the top of that. And you don't have to make this just around the holidays, y'all. You can make this any time of the year. It's just, you know, I'm single. I don't cook a Thanksgiving dinner for myself so this kind of fills the bill of that because I love turkey and stuffing so all right now there's that okay now last thing we got some cheese I'm using fiesta cheese it's a uh, Monterey Jack cheddar quesadilla and osteo cheese. Because, you know, every casserole has to be cheesy. You know, and cheese just makes everything better. You don't have to put a whole big layer on, just, just, just enough to cover. out there the edges all the corners all right got that done I'm gonna cover this with foil I've got my oven preheating to 375 and once it's done preheating we're gonna bake it for about 20 minutes and uh, we'll bring you back all right y'all we've got this bacon for like 25 minutes so, Ooh. our cheese is sticking to the aluminum foil. It'll be all right. All right, take our foil off there. We're gonna put this back in the oven for about five more minutes. Kind of let that cheese brown up a little bit, and uh, we'll be ready to eat. So, let me get that thrown back in there, and uh, we'll bring you guys right back. All right, y'all. Uh, it didn't brown up a whole lot, but that's no big deal. It's not a game changer or anything. So uh, we're going to let this sit, sit here and cool off and kind of, you know, get ready to do our little taste test. So I'm going to let this cool, and we'll bring you guys back when we do a taste test. All right, y'all. It's had some time to cool down, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, get... Somebody's throwing shit at me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a scoop of this out of here. Mm-hmm. Get all that goodness out of the bottom there. Oh, yeah. All right. So, all right. There you have it. Time for our uh, taste test. So, all 
All right, y'all. Time for the taste test. So, it's still gonna be a lot warm because there's a lot of steam coming off there, but. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna do a little bit of that stuffing. That cheesy stuffing. Mmm. Y'all, that's delicious. Now, I have made it where I've taken a layer of mashed potatoes and put on the bottom. Use leftover turkey, leftover uh, green bean casserole, laid it in there, laid some stuffing on top, a little cheese on top. That is awesome, also. But. You know, you got to do what you got to do with what you have. So, you know, this is how we made it this time. Delicious any way you make it. But, okay, there you have it. Hope you all enjoyed it. If uh, you try this recipe, please put it down in the comments and uh, let me know that you tried it. And let me know if you liked it. So, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. And, uh, bear appetit.